when a high-end device like the Google Pixel 7 starts to run so slow. It can be an issue with the firmware, or the problem can be caused by some apps that aren't working normally. The best way to know what the issue is all about is to troubleshoot the phone. Fortunately, performance-related problems aren't really that serious, and you can actually fix them easily by doing some troubleshooting procedures that aren't that hard to do. So in this video, we will show you how to fix a Pixel 7 that's running slow. But before we move on, please like and share our videos so we can help other users who might have issues with their device. Now going back to our topic, here's how it's done. First solution, close all background apps. When it comes to fixing a problem like this, the first thing you have to do is to make sure that it's not just due to some apps that are left running in the background. As you know, when you switch between apps, the previous app you are using isn't stopped. So it continues to run in the background and so are many others that you haven't manually closed. As they do that, they also continue on using your phone's RAM, CPU and GPU and if there are already a lot of them running in the background, your phone's resources might not be enough to accommodate new apps you want to use. So close the apps you don't use anymore and see if that fixes the problem. To do that, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop in the middle. This will show the recently used applications. Swipe to the right until you see the last app and then tap clear all to stop all of them. After doing that, try to see if your phone is now more responsive than before. However, if it's still slow, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, force restart your Pixel 7. A force restart is necessary if a problem like this continues to bug you even after doing the previous solution. While it is often used to make an unresponsive device work again, the force restart is actually a pretty effective solution to all firmware-related issues. It fixes glitches, which can be the reason why your phone is pretty slow. To do so, press and hold the power key for 30 seconds. You might see some services open while you're doing it but continue holding the power key as your phone will soon shut down. You only have to release the power key after the phone powers down and the Google logo shows on the screen. Once your phone has finished restarting, observe its performance to see if the problem is fixed. Third solution, check the storage. Another thing that might also cause a problem like this is when there's not enough storage space left. Apps and other features need to create some files when you're using them and if there isn't enough storage left, they won't be able to run normally, or some services might be shut off by the system to give way to the apps you want to use. Hence the reason why your phone runs so slow. Therefore, you need to check the storage of your phone before you continue troubleshooting. To do that, launch the settings app. Find and tap storage. Try to see if there is enough storage left. If you only have around 4GB left, then take time deleting some of the pictures and videos you don't need, as well as uninstall apps you don't use anymore. However, if you still have enough storage left, then move on to the next solution. Fourth solution, check for new updates. Another possibility as to why a phone like the Pixel 7 runs slow is when the problem is with the firmware itself. In most cases, Google will fix the issues by rolling out an update that will patch the problem. So what you need to do next is to check if there is an update available for your phone and install it if there is. To do that, launch the settings app. Scroll all the way down and tap system. Find and tap system update. Tap check for update and wait until the phone finishes the scan. If there is an update available no matter how big it is, take time in downloading and installing it. However, if your phone is already running the latest version of Android and you've done all the previous solutions, then you have no other choice but to reset it. Fifth solution, factory reset your phone. A factory reset will fix any performance related issues including this one. While it's very effective, you might find it a bit inconvenient as you will be required to create a backup of the things you don't want to lose. Depending on the number of files that need to be backed up, it might take several minutes to complete, especially that your phone isn't as responsive as before. But we suggest you take time in doing that before resetting your device. When ready, follow these steps to reset your phone, pull up the app drawer and tap settings. Scroll all the way down and tap system. Scroll down and tap Reset Options. Select Erase All Data. Tap Erase All Data at the bottom of the screen, and then enter your security lock. Tap Erase All Data once again to confirm. Your phone will reboot and continue with the reset, and it might take a few minutes to complete. 
After that, you will be prompted to set it up again, but rest assured that it will run normally once everything is set up. We hope this troubleshooting guide can help you. You may subscribe to our channel to support us or click one of our videos to continue watching. Have a great day.